Hey everyone, it's Mega400 here with more, um, Let's Play Kid Icarus. Uh, last time when we left off, we had beaten the first two parts of World 2, and now we're going to continue on. Uh, it's now nighttime, so one thing you might notice, not so much in uh, the first uh, in the Underworld, but in uh, the, uh, this and the next world, they seem like the last level seems to be different, I think, if I remember correctly, uh, different from the um, uh, previous two levels. But anyway, now it's nighttime. Which I really do like the scenery, like when it's night. Like when it's blue, it almost looks like really. <clears throat> overall, just kind of. Eh. Uh, like, like there's too, uh, uh, too much color. It's it's too much blue. Like the whole world was blue. Um. I don't like that. It was it was too much. But anyway. Um. Yeah, there we, we're just moving along. Uh, there's not much else. Uh, again, I, I really don't find, I, I have so many people saying that Kid Icarus is really, really, really difficult, and I can understand that to an extent, especially with the first world, but if you, if you were to do it like what I'm doing now with that, if you have the shield at this point and all that, I mean, look, I'm not having any trouble at all. Um, granted I'm good at precision jumping, but, um, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be anything like if you're good at Mario, it shouldn't be too much, anything different than that. Uh, now, in comparison, Zelda 2, I find Zelda 2 immensely difficult. I have a really hard time with that game. Um, and again, those snowmen look nothing like snowmen. But yeah, the, uh, Zelda 2 is immensely difficult. There are other games that are really difficult. This game I don't find as difficult as... Um, uh, if you know what you're doing, I guess. If you don't know what you're doing, then yeah, it's difficult. Um, anyway, I'm using the little trick again. Uh, if you want to know what the code is to always get one, uh, it's in one of the previous two videos for this world. Um, since I don't remember off the top of my head. But yep, there it is. And I got a feather. Uh, feathers for recap for anyone who didn't remember. Uh, feathers are basically, use them to save yourself when you're about to fall. So if you really suck at jumping, buy tons of feathers. Enough to make a... Um, I don't know, something that you make with feathers. Uh, uh, pillow. Um, so, uh, in the meantime, um, I'm gonna, so let's see, what can I talk about? Um, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Um, now, I, I think I've said before that I really enjoyed Super Mario Galaxy. I thought it was a really great game. Uh, it's one of the few 3D Mario games that really got me directly right into it, that it was a really enjoyable experience. Others could disagree, but I think it was a really great game. Um, and then there's people saying, oh, Galaxy 2 is gonna suck. Or, it's just a copy of the original. Um, hey, dude, where were you when they made Super Mario Bros. 1 and 3? Not 2, because it was suddenly Dookie Dookie Panic, but if you got the Japanese version, then Super Mario Bros. 2 as well. Um, where were you when they made those games? They were just, uh, games with a number after them, and... Uh, just improved upon what uh, the original had, essentially, and they were really good. Super Mario Bros. 3 is considered one of the best games or Mario games of all time, and I don't, I, I don't understand the logic behind Super Mario Galaxy 2 is going to blow because it's the same as the original without even the only thing that they're using to base off a lot of people is, oh, there's going to be some galaxies that were from the old game, like the uh, Gode Galaxy is going to be back in there. And it's like, well, the missions aren't going to be the same. You know, I mean, I can understand some people, you know, some hesitation with that, but they act like the whole game's gonna be the same when they only, like, 90% is gonna be original content. Uh, I got, um, the last weapon, uh, the fireball. Uh, you won't see it now, you won't see it until World 3, because I don't have enough health to revive my, uh, to act, uh, activate before the, uh, um, temple, or the, uh, labyrinth, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but basically, uh, a fireball revolves around your arrow, and if an enemy hits the fireball, but the, if the arrow misses the enemy, but the fireball hits it, uh, it will still die. Um, as you can as you can probably guess, it's somewhat useful, but not as useful as the other two weapons. Having longer arrows and having a uh, uh, defense that protects you like that, that's much more useful. And I think I just barely. Uh, maybe I'm gonna run, I might run out of, I might have to use one of my potions, or one of my wa bottles of water of life. I don't know, but yeah, as you can see, my barrel is filled with them. Uh, you definitely want to make sure to do that. But yeah, um, Galaxy 2 looks, it, it looks good, it looks fun. It, I mean, the, they add Yoshi back, and people are saying, oh, it's just, it's just gimmicky. I don't know, it looks good. And, and then the other thing is people were saying that the music's not gonna be orchestrated, it's gonna be meaty, because it was in that way in the, 
uh, trailer. Well, you know what? While Galaxy's music was great orchestrated, and while I agree that it would be awesome orchestrated, um, I, 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 if it sounds good, then to me it's not like it's going to be complete. I mean, if they decided to make the Galaxy music just make it totally 8-bit for that, I, I, part of me might be like, wait, why would you do that? But they're not. They're going to make it sound somewhat decent. Like, um, uh, like Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess, to my knowledge, the majority of soundtrack wasn't orchestrated, and while it would sound really great orchestrated, to me, Zelda's uh, Twilight Princess soundtrack sounds really great, you know, and it's not orchestrated. It still sounds really awesome. Uh, the music, in terms of the actual composing and also just the sound itself, sounds really nice. So, um,. Yeah, if, if Galaxy was to sound like that, while well, it may not sound as great as the past game because it's not orchestrated, I don't, I'm not going to complain that much. I'm not that picky. Um, I, I think that probably people just like to complain to complain. I mean, uh, they, they complained about Wind Waker saying it's too much not like Ocarina of Time, or it's not like Ocarina of Time, it's so different. Then they complained about Twilight Princess saying it's too much like Ocarina of Time. Uh, you wonder why uh, Nintendo kind of gets sick of uh, their hardcore fans. If, that, if you want a logical explanation for those who think that Nintendo's uh, abandoned their hardcore base, which they haven't, it's because you complain so much that they'd rather go to a base that doesn't complain every single time they do something. I, it just, it, it sickens me. And here these uh, Pluton guys are back. Um, they will steal your weapons, so don't run into them. They're grave robbers! And here is the black market dude. There's no reason to buy from him because I don't want to use my credit card again. And I don't really need anything from him. I have everything that I need at the moment. I could buy Water of Life or Feathers, but it's better just to wait until I get to a store and buy them for cheaper. Like, really cheap. You want it? It's yours, my friend, as long as you have enough hearts. So, um... But yeah, Ga Galaxy 2 looks decent. Uh, I can't really base it upon just a trailer, but I'm looking forward to it. I would buy it. I'll buy it. I'll probably buy it. I'd probably buy it no matter what it was, though, because I'm really a huge Mario fan. But no, it looks, it looks really good. And yeah, make sure to kill these guys uh, if you haven't killed them, because the rock guys will give you tons of hearts. Uh, they really help. N not so much like for 999 hearts. But, like, if you haven't got a ton of, like, uh, things like the barrel and stuff, kill them here and buy them. That's what I did. I bought, uh, used all the hearts to, uh, that guy here to, uh, buy the barrel and all the things I haven't bought, bought yet. And then, uh, the next level I'll get enough for, like, 999. Um, so yeah, that's about all the time I have. Uh, let's go to the checkpoint. I think I level up, maybe. Yeah, I think I level up. Um, but this has been Mega 400, reminding you, uh, Mmm, that Taco Bell sells tacos.